Knuckles. Uh, it's on Blackbird by Autobridge. An incredible song. I know I say that about all of them, but I wouldn't pick them if I didn't like them, right? So the tuning for this song is drop D flat. So you want to tune your whole guitar to E flat and then put it in drop D. So that's making sure that your low string, your low E string is tuned to the same pitch as your D string. Once you've got that far, the first fret is the 15th on the E string. I'm going to call it the E string, even though it's a C sharp technically. E, A, D, G, B, E. Just find it easier, right? 15, 12, 0. And then... Thirteen zero. Play it through twice, and then you've got fifteen on the A, and then thirteen, twelve, thirteen on the low E. So. Nice and simple so far. We've then got this. Which is 12 on the D, open, open D string I mean, 15 on the A, open, 12 on the A, 15 on the A. Three chords, um, that last one you don't have to hold down here but that's eight on the D, A, and E strings. E, A, and D. Don't know why I said that so weird. Fifth string, fifth fret, and then open. Right, play it again. Try to get it right though. When you get into the verse, you've got this. So that's just chugging it open. Slide up to the 12th fret on the low E. And then some more chugs in between, and then 8, 5, 0. And then... So some more chugs again, slide back up to 12. But then when you do your 5 and your 8, you want to palm mute and hit it twice on the 8. Two 5s. And then take the palm mute off and try and get a pinch harmonic on the 7th of the A string. Right. You then play another one. fourth time round you do that so you slide up to the 12 and then kind of repeat the chug in and then slide up to the 13 play the whole thing again um, and when you get to the end of it you have the kind of clean bit right the uh, wait, wait, let me get the sound right that nice and simple you want open E, A, D, and then on the G string, you want to hold down the seventh fret. Hit it once, and then hit it again, and pull off to the fifth. And you've got this chord, which is a little bit tough. You might want to do it with your little finger or your ring finger, put it on the eighth fret of the E string. Keep holding down that fifth on the G, slide it up to the 7 and down to the 2. So right now third fret on the E and then open A, open D, 3 2 0 on the G and then first fret on the E open A, open D, and then two, slide a three, 
and then open on the G. All together. Okay, play it again, and then when you get to the end of the next one, you just do the so you don't do any of the sliding. You play it twice through, and the second time around you don't slide when you're on the first fret of the E string. You then go into the chorus. Which is um, pretty intense. So, big open D chord, so that's zero, 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 two, three. You go up to the eighth fret of the E string and the A string barred, and then hold down. I like to do it with my little finger, you could do it with your ring finger, I guess middle finger if you really wanted. On the tenth fret of the D string, and then this one which is kind of a major chord. So that's three, three, seven. Bit of a stretch. Sounds good. I'll move a little bit, there you go. So. And then one, few strums, five, open again. Same chord, same introduction, but then you only play this briefly before you go into a slide from the third fret of the A string and the octave as well. On the fifth fret of the G string, slide that up to the fifth fret and the seventh fret of the A and G strings. So. First fret, power chord, and then eight, seven, five, three, zero. All power chords on the low three strings. Goes like this. pretty good right um, so then you play through a few more little bits and eventually you'll get to a kind of bridge sort of part um, which is a little bit like this <laughs> off of that and the open string, all on the E. And then at the end of that, hit the 12th, hammer on pull off 13. That's all on the 10th fret. That's 15th. And then 13, 12. All fairly straightforward. Then turn the gain up. You get the point, right? So it's 12. Hammer on 13 in there as well, right? Same as we were doing before. That is 12 and 10 on the D and G strings. And then 10. And then to open. And then which is 10 and 9 on the D and G strings. So, 
Eight to zero. Seven, sorry. Right, yeah. Okay, so. And play it again. So, this is a 8, 8, 10, slide your index finger back, I did move my little finger, you don't do it in the song, so that's 7, 7, 10, from 8, 8, 10. Uh, 15, 12, 0, 15, 12, 0, <laughs> and you want to hit the 12 and pinch harmonic and bend if you can, which obviously I can't, you know, 12, 15, 0 a couple of times again, and then that same shape again, but 10, 10, 12 this time, and then back into it. And then you go 12 and open, um, and the 13 as we were doing before. And then I like to hold down the 10 chord and then back down to the 8. So, all together nice and slow. goes through again, goes back to the clean bit that I've already taught, I think goes back into the chorus, as far as I know, off the top of my head, that is the whole of the song. I hope you had fun learning that, I hope you have fun playing that, if you did, let me know, leave a like, dislike, whatever you think, um, you know, the comments, all the rest of it, typical YouTube sort of stuff, have fun with it, cheers, have a good day.